so the progression chapter progressions we start a new chapter and we are in the second exercise uh, all of you open 144 page students all of you open 144 page page number 144 page number 144 in third first questions first all five bits i completed second two bits we completed and third also three bits we completed so third fourth bit and fifth bit two bits are there so third fourth bit a1 is equal to minus 4 a6 is equal to 6 a1 is minus 4 a6 is 6 i first problem first bit second bit third bit already we did in this chap in this uh, third bit question so same model and we don't have much formulas also unlike trigonometry trigonometry we have so many formulas but here only simple formula by nth term formula a plus n minus 1 into only one formula but you have to know what is a what is n what is d only one formula we have every time we are using that formula only simple See here, a one is given. A one means a one or a both are same because in formula we use a. So we use the symbol a. A one or a both are same. What is a one? First term. What is a? First term. So, that is because. Same first term. If I use two symbols, you may get confused. So whenever first term is given, I I I take it as a only, not a one. A okay. Now in the problem, it is given like that, but we have to understand that a one means first term. First term is denoted by a. Next, the question is find the a two, a three, a four, a five. Find. A two, A three, A four, A five. Find A one, A two, A three, A four, A five. To find any term, we require A and D. A and D. A is here. A is given. A is minus four. A is minus four. A is minus four. We require d value. We can find d value using this. What is the formula for sixth term? A plus six minus one into d. Sixth term formula. nth term formula a plus n minus 1 into d nth term formula a plus n minus 1 into d n is 6 otherwise i will write the full formula and after that i will substitute but sometimes we need to write directly also okay what is the formula for nth term a plus n minus 1 into d but it is given as 6 what is a minus 4 Plus n is six. Six minus one into d. We don't know. We have to find. Is equal to six. Six minus one is five. D is equal to six minus four. That side plus four. Six plus four ten. D is equal to ten by five is equal to two. We got d value. We got d value. Now second term. See here, students. Uh, the sixth term formula, any term formula is a plus n minus one into d. We we use the formula. But when six is there, six minus one is five d. So sixth term is a plus five d. Directly also we can write because so many are asked. Four questions are asked. Every time you write the formula, but here I am not writing the formula. Directly I will I will write. So a two formula is a plus 
2 minus 1 into d a plus d only what is the formula otherwise for this i will write full for remaining i will write directly so what is the formula for nth term a plus n minus 1 into d a is minus 4 plus n is 2 n is 2 minus 1 into d is we got d as 2 see here first term is given a is equal to minus 4 i substituted n means which term we want second term n is equal to 2 2 minus 1 into d is we got d value from this d is 2 what is the answer 2 minus 1 1 1 into 2 2 uh, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 answer Next is A3. A3. I am not writing full formula. You write it. I will write directly. Whenever A3 is there, we will get A plus 3 means 2. In 2D we will get. If it is 3, 2D. If it is 4, 3D. If it is 5, 4D. Directly. Same formula if you apply 3 minus 1 is 2d only. Every time I am not writing the formula, directly I am writing up. A value minus 4 plus 2 into d value, d value 2. 2 to the 4, 4 minus 4, 0. A3 is 0 over a4 a4 is a plus 3d if it is 4 we will get 3d same formula I am not writing direct step I am writing one step I am missing here I am not writing a is minus 4 plus 3 into d is uh, 2 3 to the 6, 6 minus 4, 2 answer. And finally, A5 is A plus 4D. A is minus 4 plus 4 into D is 2. 4 to the 8, 8 minus 4 is 4. So, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, all we got. So, if you have any doubt, you ask me. Students, any doubt? Any doubt? Okay, understood, no doubt. Ah, if you have completed it, write down the fifth one. You do it. Students, because same model also I am not giving homework. Because let us do together. It is not that uh, uh, you should not do anything and each and every problem I am solving. So you, each and every problem I am solving but we are solving. So you also do. Write down the fifth one and you try. If it is wrong, no problem. You cancel it and again copy from my, my solution. See, committing mistakes is not wrong. Committing mistakes is good. Even if you can do wrong also, cancel it and again write down the correct procedure. You try. Mass notes will not be very good fair. So it will be like rough notes. You do the sixth, the fifth one. You at least try. Even if it is a different, difficult, different model also, you should try. Just some steps. Wrong steps also, okay. A2 is 
इक्वल टू थर्टी एट See here, students. A two is given. Previous problem, first term was given. First term given means it is very easy. But first term is not given here. Second term is given. What is the formula for second term? Second term formula. A plus n minus one into d. N is two. So directly let us write. You can write directly also because that that is also formula. So once again, I will I will uh, explain the general form of AP. First term is A. Second term is A plus D. Directly also you can use it. Third term is A plus two D. Fourth term A plus three D. Fourth term means we will get three D. Fifth term means four D. Previous problem also I wrote. So directly also you can use. I am not. Uh, Every time I am not writing the formula a plus n minus one into d because simple case. So whenever required we will write. But here I am writing directly. So what is the second term? Second term means a plus d. Don't get confused. The formula same formula a plus n minus one into d. A plus n minus one into d formula only I applied. N is two. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 into d is 1d. So what is the second term formula? A plus d is equal to 38. Can we find two values using one equation? No. If one equation is given, we can't find two values. So leave. It. We we require one more equation. So what is other equation? See here. In the problem. Uh, sixth term is given. Sixth term is equal to minus twenty-two. Sixth term is given as minus twenty-two. Sixth term is given as minus twenty-two. What is the formula for sixth term? A plus n minus one into d. Six minus one into d. Five d. Directly you write. It will form a right answer. You can write. One step I am missing that one. Sixth term formula is a plus five d. If it is six, we will get five d. If it is two, this is one d. If it is ten, we will get nine d like that. Ah, so we got second equation also. We got first equation, second equation. Two equations are sufficient to find a value and d value. Now I am finding a value and d value. How I am finding a and d? Yesterday we did one problem. So the simple process: one minus two. This equation minus this equation, we will get the value. So first equation: a plus d is equal to thirty i. Second equation: a plus five d is equal to minus twenty two. I am solving the equations. First equation a plus d is equal to thirty eight. Second equation a plus y d is equal to minus twenty two. Subtraction. What I am doing? Subtraction. Subtraction means signs will change. Plus a becomes minus a. Plus becomes minus. Minus becomes plus. A minus a cancel. D minus y d minus four d. D minus y d is minus four d. Thirty-eight plus twenty-two is sixty. Thirty-eight actually it was minus, but when we are subtracting, this will become minus. This becomes minus. Minus will become plus. So thirty-eight plus twenty-two is sixty. D is equal to sixty by four minus fifty. We got D value. Actually, the solving the equation is not belongs to this chapter. Actually, you studied in the lower classes. In ninth class, you solved many equations, and even in tenth class, also starting problems, uh, starting chapters, solving the equations. You know this process. Even I explained what I am doing. Simply subtraction. That's all. No other operation. I am subtracting. When I am subtracting, this all the signs will change. Actually, it was it is plus a becomes minus a. Plus becomes minus. Minus becomes plus. 
a minus a zero d minus 5d is minus 4d 38 plus 22 is 60 60 by 4 is 50 a value we got a d value we got now we require a also take the first equation take the first equation take the first equation a plus a plus b is equal to first equation a plus b is 38 First equation a plus d is 38, d value minus 50, a plus d is minus 50, a plus d is equal to 38 is our first equation, first equation, you can take first or second, anyone you can take, even if you substitute a, D value in the second equation also you will get A value. Now we require A because already we got D. First equation A plus D is equal to 38. D is minus 15. Minus 15 that side plus 15. 38 plus 15 is 53. 53. Now we got A value and D value. Now we can write any term. Even 100 term asked, if it is asked 1000 term also, we can write any term we can write because if A and D are known, any term of this AP we can write. So what are, we, what, are what is the question? See here, A1, A1 a5 what is a1 students what is a1 a1 is first term itself a1 or a both are same a1 means a only a is the first term a1 also first term in the text in the problem uh, it is noted, denoted by a1 but general notation is a first term is a1 a only so we got a value what is it 53 answer we got a1 answer what is a3 a3 is a plus what if it is 3 2d a plus 2d first term is a second term is a plus d see here second term Third term is a plus 2d. What is the fourth term? a plus 3d. Fifth term a plus 4d. One less than this. If it is five, fifth term is asked for 4d. Fourth term is asked for 3d. A will be same. Third term is asked for 2d. First term is asked for there is 0d. 0d means no d. Only a. Second term is asked for means 1d. Like that. Right now. A. A value 53 plus 2 into A is 53 plus 2 into D, 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 D minus 15. Add on the answer. A plus 2D, A substitute A as 53 plus 2 into D is minus 15. So minus 30. 53 minus 30 is uh, 23. 23. Next. A plus 3D. Right now. Students, you do it.
आंसर्स आर फिफ्टी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री एट माइनस सेवन students understand this problem and copy it after copy if you have any doubts you ask me otherwise read the fourth question all of you read the fourth question copied uh, then you can again watch the video you copy it no problem just listening and understanding is important copy you can do afterwards same video you can watch afterwards and you can copy it see the fourth question all are important problems so total uh, from all all problems are important in this exercise very very important see which term of the ap 3 8 13 So on is seventy eight. Which term of the AP three eight thirteen eighteen so on is seventy eight? Students, see what is the first term three, and what is the other five is added. So three plus five is eight. Eight plus five is thirteen. Thirteen plus five is eighteen. Can you tell the next term? Five is added. Twenty-three and five. Twenty-eight and five. Thirty-three, thirty-eight. Uh, like that, five, five. You add. You add. Seventy-eight is which term? If you keep on writing this series, seventy-eight will be the which term? So thirty-five, thirty-eight. Forty-three, forty-five, oh, thirty-three, and thirty-eight, forty-three, forty-eight, fifty-three, fifty-eight, sixty-three, sixty-eight, seventy-three, seventy-eight, seventy-eight. So which term it is that we have to tell? So we can't count like this. See. Seventy-eight is which term? If you write this series, seventy-eight is which term? Given AP is an arithmetic progression is given. Whenever arithmetic progression is given, you find A value and D value. What is A three? First term is denoted by A. What is D? D is second term minus first term. Any term minus its previous term. A is the first term. D is second minus first or third minus second. Any term minus its previous term. So eight minus five. D is equal to how much? Five. The question is seventy-eight is which term? Is it tenth term or twelfth term or fifteenth term? Which term? Let seventy-eight be the let seventy-eight be the tenth term. Let us take it as the nth term and let us find any value because we don't know which term it is. Let us find it. So let seventy-eight be the nth term. 
Remember this important procedure. Next problem also same model. A is given. D A we can find. The first term is A. D we can find. Second minus first that is D. So 78 is which term? Let 78 be the nth term. What is the formula for nth term? A plus n minus 1 into D. Formula for nth term A plus n minus 1 into D. A is 3. Plus n we don't know. D is 5. First plus 3 taken to the right side. 78 minus 3. 78 minus 3 is 75. 5 that side it will be in the denominator. 5 is in into. Into will become divide. Into will become divide. First we have to take plus or minus terms that side. Plus t taken minus, right side minus 3. 78 minus 3 is 75 by 5. So n minus 1 is equal to. 75 by 5 is uh, 15. So n is equal to 15 plus 1, 16th term. So therefore, 78 is the 16th term. It is the 16th term. 78 will be 16th term. See here. 3, 8, 13, 18, add 5. 23, 28, uh, 33, 38, 43, 48, 53, 48, 53, 58, 63, 68, 73, 78, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16th term, 78 is the 16th term, 1st term, 2nd term, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, if you keep on writing this series, Adding 5 to each term, 78 will be the 16th term line. Like. 78 is the 16th term. Or you can leave here and you write one just one explanation like this. Students followed or not? Understood or not? Let 78 be the nth term. Let us assume. Then we calculated n. n is 16. So 78 is the 16th term. Fifth also same model. Students, I will explain this question. First term is 7. Next is 13. What is the difference? 6. So 6 is added. Uh, 13 plus 6 is 19. 19. Plus 6, 25. Plus 6, 31. Plus 6, 37. Plus 6, 43. If you go on writing like this, to lastly we will get 205. So how many terms are there? How many terms? How many terms? That is nothing but 205 is which term? Is it 20th term or 30th term or 21st term? Which term? First term is 7. Next is 13. Next is 19. You can write the series because difference is 6 no? 
7 plus 6, 13, 13 plus 6, 19, 19 plus 6, 25, 25 plus 6, 31, 31 plus 6, 37 plus 6, 43 plus 6, 49 plus 6, 55 plus 6, 61 plus 6, 67, like that, you will continue, so 205 is which term? How many numbers are there? Up to 205, if you write up to 205, how many numbers are there? How to find that? Lay, same like previous problem. 205 is which term that we have to find? Let us take it as nth term, then find n value. Same model, previous problem. See here, important model. So here, a is equal to 7. First term is taken as a. a is equal to 7. d is Second, uh, first, second minus first. Any, any difference? What is the difference? 6. 205 is which term? That is the question. Let 205 be the nth term. Let 205 be the nth term. Now I am going to find n value. What is the formula for nth term? a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 205 a value 7 plus n value we don't know we have to find d is 6 d is 6 plus 7 to the right side minus 7 n minus 1 into 6 is equal to 205 minus 7 n minus 1 is equal to 205 minus 7 is 198. 205 minus 7 is 198 by 6. By 6. 198 by 6. 205 minus 7 is 198 by 6. One ninety eight by six, six three is eighteen thirty three. Six three is eighteen, six three is eighteen. Thirty three minus one that side plus one n is equal to forty four. Ah, thirty four. So that means if you write the series, two not five will, will be the thirty fourth term. So seven, thirteen, nineteen, nineteen plus six, twenty five plus six, so thirty one plus six, thirty seven plus six, forty three plus six, forty nine plus six, fifty five plus six, sixty one. Like that, if you keep on writing the numbers, this two not five will be the which number? Thirty fourth number. That means this series is having how many numbers? Thirty four numbers it have. So this AP is having how many numbers? Thirty four numbers. Starting from 7 to 205, there are total how many numbers? 34 numbers. Therefore, given AP, have 34 terms. It is having 34 terms. Write down students. Same 
model. 18. Next number is 15 and off. Next number is 13. Uh, 2 and off. Uh, 2 and off is subtracted. So 13 means next will be 2 and off is subtracted means uh, uh, 11 and off. No, 10 and off. So next 2 and off is subtracted. Like that we will get the series. So with 47 is which term? How many terms are there here? Up to minus 47. How many terms? Same procedure. A value 18. What is A? First term. First term is taken as A. D is second minus first. Second minus first. What is second? 15 and of minus first 18. 15 and of minus 18. How much? 2 5 is a 2 15 is a 30 31 by 2 minus 18. Take LCM. Whenever we are doing any operation, this mixed fraction is changed into improper fraction. 215 the 30 plus 131 by 2. You know this simplification. So what is the LCM? 2 LCM. Minus 5 by 2 is D value. Any doubt? Minus 5 by 2 is D value. Only simplification. Subtraction. D value minus 5 by 2 students. Now, minus 47 is which term? How many terms are there? It is which term? Is it 10th term or 11th or 12th? You have to tell. Let minus 47 be the nth term. Minus 47 be the nth term. What is the formula for nth term? A. 18. D. 18 minus 47 minus 18 is minus 65 hmm. this 5 by 2 taken right side it will go to the denominator and nothing but it will reverse it will become 2 by 5 with same minus If you take 2 to the right side, it is in the denominator, it will go into the numerator. Numerator will go into the denominator. So minus is not for both. Anyone, you can write minus. Generally, we write in the numerator. That's right. See, minus 18 is taken to the right side, minus 18. Minus 47, minus 18 is minus 65. To that side, it will go up. If it is division, it will be in multiplication. It is in multiplication, means it will go down. Minus into minus plus, so there is no minus. 15 ones are 15, 13. Uh, 5 ones are 5, 13. Uh, 13 5 is 60. Hmm. 5, uh, 5 13 uh. So 5 ones are 5, 13 times. 13 into 2, 26. Finally, it is 26. Minus into minus plus, I will write it. minus into minus plus 65 into 2 by 5. 5 ones are 5 threes are 13 twos are 26. Minus 1 that side plus 1, 26 plus 1 is 27. 
That means if you write this, this like that, if you write next term, next term, next term, next term, this will be the 27th term. It is the 27th term. That means this AP have how many terms? 27 terms it is having. It is having 27 terms. Therefore, given AP have 27 terms. Same model. Only one formula we have. That's all. Simple. But problems are little difficult. So, some reasoning, some ex uh, analysis, something is there. So, you do it. Nothing. Nothing. No. no uh, nothing difficult. A is 18. D is 15 and half minus 18. You do simplification and it is minus 5 by 2. We got A value and D value. Minus 47 is which term? Let minus 47 be the nth term. Let. Nth term formula a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to minus 47. A value 18, d value minus 5 by 2. So plus 18 that side, minus 18, minus 47, minus 18 is minus 65. Uh, 2 will go up, 5 will go down, minus will remain same. Minus into minus plus 5, 13, the 13, 2 is 26. 26 plus 1 is 27. So this AP is having 27 terms. Right.